These are very difficult to stand up. Looks like she's ready to run a race. On your mark, set, go! Hey V-Buds, I'm back and today we're gonna do a fake versus real Ever After High. As you can see, I have a four pack of Ever After High dolls down here, which includes Apple White, Raven Queen, Madeline Hatter, and Ashlyn Ella. And then over here, we have our less than convincing Ever After High copies, and to be honest, I have no clue who they are supposed to be. Let's take a moment to check out the real package. Here we have all four of our dolls looking flawless. I like Madeline Hatter, she is vertically challenged, as am I. We have their cartoon versions beneath all of them with their names and who they are the daughter of. Here in back of the package land, we have all four of our girls in the center of a very colorful package. So they are clearly brightly colored and wearing the outfits that the dolls are actually wearing inside the package, the ones that we're going to open. Now it's time to check out the fake packages, shall we? <laughs> so as I've mentioned, I have no clue who these dolls are meant to be and there is a reason for that because Jen can't put the box in the video because guess what they fall we have a blue one and a purple one they have no markings on them to suggest who actually is supposed to be inside or who the doll is based on they both say fashion girl style and fairy tale girl up in the top corners they both have a picture of Briar Beauty within both of the backs of each of these boxes are the exact same except the girl that is shown on top that lock which is clearly ever after highs and it says welcome to choose our product it's very clearly an ever after high not off it just doesn't say ever after high but now it's time to try to figure out who we have so in this blue one you would think it would be apple white because she's pale with blonde hair however it does show Briar Beauty but that doesn't mean anything because the sides show Madeline Hatter and Raven Queen and she's clearly none of those so I'm gonna go with her being apple white this one here shows all the exact same things Briar Beauty Madeline Hatter Raven Queen but on the back it's Raven so I guess she could be Raven if her hair was darker, or she could be Briar Beauty. Either way, we cannot go based on her appearance or her outfit because that's just not helpful. I'll go ahead and open these up. Here are all the dolls out of the package. They basically look exactly like their image and exactly like they did two seconds ago when they were in the package. <laughs> They're like super tall, so it's hard to do this. They can bend back and forth only, and at the knee and at the shoulder. So they all came with a hair piece, whether it is a headband or a crown. Just say crown. And they all came with styled hair. Now, Madeline Hatter's hair is supposed to be in curls, so they have like a lot of glue or hairspray in it, and it is rock hard. But Ashlyn's hair is super soft. Her upper body piece is painted on, and only the skirt is removable, so it looks like a bathing suit underneath. They all have pretty fabulous shoes. We will do shorty short stuff, Miss Madeline Hatter. So just like Ashlyn, her upper body is painted on. So it looks like a bathing suit with really weird, you know, white tights under it because I always wear stockings when I wear a bathing suit, don't you? <laughs> she's got a blue skirt with teapots all over it, so cute. And she's got like these really strange, cool, heelless high heels. I feel like in real life I would totally fall in these. She's also got this really cute top hat on and it's gold. It's really cute. Actually, we didn't focus too much on their makeup. They have very wide eyes, light makeup underneath their mascara, some lines to make light reflections and make it a little realistic, cute little button nose, and some lipstick with perfectly formed eyebrows. We're not going to be able to compare it too much until we open one of the fakes, but I just wanted you to see sort of what the quality was like. Now a quick hair check, you can see what I meant about all the glued hard hair. But what I care about, because you could always brush that, is to tell where the bald spot is. So she doesn't really have one at all, and if we focus really, really hard, we can find a small spot. But you can see that they took the time to paint the scalp so that it still blends in even if they had to have made a bald spot, if the rooting wasn't all the way through, it would still blend in because they painted the scalp. Pretty nifty little trick. Let's check Raven Queen. So she's got a painted top body piece as well. It is silver with a purple skirt covered in lightning and black lace. She is wearing some gladiator heelless heels. Actually, maybe they're heelless but kind of wedged at the same time. It's hard to tell. She's pretty pale. She's wearing a black necklace and a silver crown. Her makeup is very, very purple. And her black and purple hair may be hiding a bald spot. Let's see. And no, it is not. 
Last one to check is Apple White. She has super blonde hair, we'll go there first. No bald spot. She's wearing a gold crown and a very pale pink necklace. She's got a gold painted upper body with a red and gold like pearl covered skirt. It looks like pearls with a black ribbon around it, which would be really cute in real life, just saying. She actually has heels on her shoes and they are red and there's an apple at the back. See that? It's an apple. Following a theme here. And she has a very delicate makeup as well. She's so pale, like it all blends in together. <laughs> okay, so while those guys chill over here, I'm gonna open these guys all up in this blurry area here. So here. Oh. So here. Let us open up whoever this is meant to be, fake apple white, who doesn't fit in the frame. Well, that was easy. And now let's open up this one. So these guys are interesting. <laughs> one leg is completely straight and the other is bent. Uh, so they don't exactly sit and they look like really weird cool chopsticks. So I'm gonna stand one up so that we can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. It's supposed to be like they're casually leaning, I suppose. So the dolls don't actually have the worst makeup, but we'll check that out in a second. We're gonna check their hair first since that's a big deal for me. It actually looks pretty luscious from the front. So her hair is super long and it came with a brush. Let's see, does much come off? Okay, quite a bit is coming off, but it's actually not as bad as previous fakes I've had before. It's just, I don't know. All right, I moved her and I didn't see all this below her, so scratch that. There's quite a bit coming off. Okay, so here is the back of her. She's got extremely blonde hair. It's very, very white. Very, very weird. She's got a whole bunch up here and then it just stops and then there's a whole bunch under layered and then there's a lot of bald, like a supreme amount of bald. It's super bald up there, in there, in there, all up in this region. But here's the thing. In all the rooting, they actually put a lot so it makes it seem very, very full. And they managed to keep her hair styled if Jen could keep it in the frame by securing it with an elastic back here. So she looks like she's got a really cool rat tail. But it keeps her hair in style at the front. Which leads us to our wardrobe. Her clothes are very, very tiny. Very, very scratchy feeling. But from far away, they do not look the worst. So it's all one piece. And they are actually pretty thick, decent fabrics. Except for the top. And the back does not fasten all the way because it is pulled much too tight. It's also very, very short. Her arms go up and down and left and right. She could fly if she so chooses. And has like a clicky knee. So maybe we can move this one. We can bend it just barely. Ugh. And now she looks really creepy. <laughs> Let's take a quick peek at her feet. These are the shoes. They are a pale pink and pearly color. Very tall. They're easy to get on and off, but that's because her foot is the size of a, a pair of tweezers. If this was real life, she would snap and break every bone in her body within seconds of being blown in the wind. That's for sure. Hey, look, we have a decent view of her makeup. So let's compare her to the other Apple White because she is the only one I am convinced is meant to be another character. This is the Apple White. Effect. They are both supremely pale. The real Apple White has very wide and big almond shaped eyes with very little makeup. The iris is light bluish green and she has very nicely shaped eyebrows. The fake one has the right kind of style, but it's mostly formed out of mascara, making the eye appear bigger. And the eyes are like an ice blue. Her makeup is a little too dark for Apple White as well. Uh, her eyebrows are on point though. They're a little thick, but they're on point. And her mouth is closed and a light peach, like a pale color, whereas our Apple White is smiling because she's always happy. But they do have the same cute little button nose. Actually, this apple white looks like it's got a touch of the pink eye. What's going on there? <laughs> Where'd that other one go? Oh, there she is. Time to check out the random doll that I'm not sure who it is. I'm gonna go with Briar though because of the hair color with the stripes of pink. That's as good as it's gonna get. So she's got some nice brown and light purple makeup. The makeup is, once again, pretty good considering she is a fake. Her skinny little twig body is all about movement in the arms and she's got that weird snappy knee. Her wardrobe is completely see-through. It's pretty thin. It is not the best fabric. Let's see if this one can actually do up in the back. Oop, that's a bum. Uh, no, what? what is happening there? Why is that? Hold on, let's see if I can make that not crooked. No, it's 
what? I, this may seem like it's super easy, but when I make it straight on the front, it makes it supremely crooked on the back. What is happening? Oh well. So her hair is in a ponytail. You can't really tell that it's bald, but guess what? I'm gonna take that out because we are all about the facts here, right? Right. Her hair is nice and thick, probably due to the extra rooting, which I'm loving. It looks luscious, actually. It's quite nice when it's down. Let's check for the bald spots. She does have quite a bit, but it's the most effective use of rooting that I have ever seen on a fake doll, so props to that. Her dress is unreasonable for me. Her legs way too skinny, and she has the exact same shoes on as the fake apple white, but in a pearly blue. I can't really compare her to anyone because she really does not look like anyone that is back here. We'll leave it at that. Apple white versus the apple white. That was decent. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think she's supposed to be Ash Linella? Because her dress, it seems more monster high, obviously. But if anything, I would say this is more of a Raven Queen type dress. Don't you agree? So usually I would try to like swap their clothes. But since they have painted clothes minus the skirt, I can't really do that. And their shoes are definitely not going to fit on her tiny little twig feet. So can't do that either. And since she's super duper skinny, I don't think that the skirt would do anything other than fall down. So I'm pretty sure that brings us to the end of our comparison. Okay, I couldn't show it on the fake apple white because she's so pale you can't see it, but it looks like these were attacked by like animals that left their teeth in them, but realistically, they're covered in these dimples that have hard white stuff sticking out. I'm sure it's probably what helps to bend the knee or maybe what's underneath the skin tone plastic, but it kind of looks painful and it's sticking out. And I mean painful like as if you rubbed your hand across it while playing, you'd probably hurt yourself because they're pretty sharp. So that's no good. And they're also on the backs too. You can't see it as much on the apple white, but they are there. I don't know what's going on. Plus she's like breaking down all over my table. Like all this stuff is coming off her. So here we have it. Those are our dolls. Super duper fake, super duper real, pretty cool. Lots of dolls. If you did not know, every comment that you leave from this point on gives you an opportunity to win a great big toy box little prize. So if your name gets chosen and your parent says yes and you're a subscriber, boom, you get a prize. Pretty simple stuff. Let me know in the comments below, did you like the dolls or are they good enough fakes? What did you spot that I might have missed? If you know somebody who would enjoy this video, please share it with them. And if you enjoyed it yourself, please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe so that you can help me decide what to film next or tell me what you did or did not like. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!